right, folks, I picked out a bridge just for you guys. I thought I would show you guys what I was kind of looking for when I'm looking and I'm scouting. I picked, I picked a bridge that had corn on the other side and a good creek that I thought might have a lot of raccoons. When I come down to this spot, what I'm really looking for is the trails and, and how the raccoons are moving. You know there's going to be raccoons coming through here anyways, but as a trapper, I want to like simplify everything that I do. So I'm looking where everything either funnels, I'm looking where, I'm just trying to get a good idea where I want to make a couple, the four, three, four sets. So I follow this creek all the way down. It kind of makes a little bend right here. And the water is nice and flowing right there. I think I'm going to put a pocket right here just because the water's still moving real good. And I'm going to put another pocket about four feet over. So I'm going to go with two right here. And then we're probably going to do something along the bridge. I really, really usually like to, to trap the corners as they come out. And uh, we might do that. So here, I'm going to put you on time lapse here. I got that one in, didn't take me very long. Uh, the water's running right through here real good. So if you have a lot of problems with freeze thaw, this trap will keep working. I wanted to show you guys how I'm gonna set this one. I like the nice high bank on the side. I'm gonna be able to put a good pocket in right here. And I thought I'd show you how I do that. All right, so as you can kind of tell, I have this nice high bank right here. The water level's right there. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start putting in my pocket and I just want to create about a baseball sized hole inside of that bank straight back and then I'm going to put a little shelf at a 40. Going about eight inches back in there. All right, and I'm gonna take the top, and I like to twist it a little bit, makes it look kind of fresh. That looks pretty good. I'm gonna bait it last, just in case. Just in case I can't get my trap in the ground. Got kind of a sandy bottom to it. So all I'm gonna do is get my boot in the bottom, work that set a little bit, make me a little bed. I'm gonna Give it a little twist and pull. There it is. Then I like to make sure I get a good pull on my trap. Make sure it's not going anywhere. This one's well set. We're ready to go on the next step. Okay, now comes the fun part. I'm gonna get my bucket out with my fish in it. Always grab a little bit of, a little bit of grass, I wad it up, kind of like that. Put a little cotton ball in it if I want to. A little extra, I don't have to though. A cotton ball on top. And I'm gonna grab my fish. Just a nice little chunk like that. If you don't happen to have a uh, carp or non-game, which we can do that in our state. Jack mackerel works pretty good. You can get it at the store. Just put it on the top. Might grab another piece. We're just checking these for one day just for you guys. There we go. Gonna roll it up like that. Nice wad. I usually grab a little water, sprinkle it over the back of the set, and then I put it all the way back in the back of the hole. There we go. Now we're set. 
Alright, there's a little bit of a sandy bottom to this. Sometimes I take a little mud, put it on the bottom. That helps. That way the sand doesn't sift underneath the pan. I'm gonna set my trap. I usually set my glove my, my shovel down and I push down on it. So much easier to set. Nice little trick. I set my trap. Make sure my pan is nice and level. Just like that. And then all I do is about six, six feet or six inches out from the hole. Six inches out from the hole and then about one or two inches off center. I'm going to put that trap straight down. And then I'm going to give it a quarter turn. The quarter turn will help lock it in. And then the last but not least, one of my most important things is I hide the chain. Because they come through here and they, they start feeling with their hands. If you ever watch a raccoon, that's how they work your set. Last but not least, I always grab my stick and I put it towards the back. That way they can kind of work it from this angle right here. There it is, trap set. All right, there's the final set. You can see the trap is set there, the pocket's here. And uh, we're setting that for raccoons. And then we've got another one about a good six to eight feet over. Traps right here, pockets right there. And two nice productive sets. So. The last thing I like to do before I forget is to put a little cotton piece on the backing. And a lot of times I'll put that in the hole. Matter of fact, I probably will. And I put a little bit of shellfish oil on that. I like shellfish oil on mine. Or I'll put any type of a, a raccoon lure will help. Last thing I like to do, a lot of times if you got a high bank where they're working the side, I took a little fish oil and put it on the backing. Or I'll shoot it up the bank. And that just kind of gets gets their attention and it helps I, I think it helps the set so there it is a real simple pocket set for you guys check that out and definitely use it and you'll definitely add fur to the back of your truck all right so I'm on the other side there's a couple pieces right here on the corners I'm gonna try and get my traps in there the rock is really really pretty strong so otherwise I like these uh, high banks, so as the water comes through here, probably right here, and then straight across, right in here somewhere. The coons are kind of go along the bank. There's a good trail right here going up. Uh, so I'm gonna, and there's another good trail here too. I'm gonna try and get it towards the bridge. That's where I want it at. It's where everything funnels, and let's see if I can't get that in. folks we've got a typical jinx set here I like to set the corner spot I was able to come out because of the uh, the rock that they put in with these it was so thick I was able to drive in one right here and I muddied up that bank real good put my pocket in one set there and then I did a double hole so that I got my pocket out of the water so to speak and there's two holes here my traps here nice high bank and there's a trap there good spot you can see how everything's real high right here coons are going to be working on the sides and uh last but not least i set a dog proof so the coons are coming through here and there's my dog proof so it all just kind of pinches in right here and then we've got the two on the other side of course and there you have it. We're just giving one day on these traps, guys. Five traps. 
and it's not a real hot spot, but let's see what we can catch. So All right, folks, we, uh, we're here the next day, and uh, we we're doing a one day run on these traps, and can't tell you the, uh, the level of anticipation and excitement that I'm feeling getting ready to check the traps that we set from the previous day. So trapping can be kind of a, can be a lot of fun. And uh, I just uh, wanted to share that with you real quick as I'm getting down to my creek and getting ready to check our traps that we set from yesterday. So right off the bat, we got a, a raccoon there in the dog proof. That was the last trap that we had set was on the dog proof there. Not a bad raccoon. And uh, let's go see about the other ones that we'd set. And uh, look over here to that high bank. And we've got a nice big possum. Pretty excited about that. So already we're two for two. That's pretty good. Good odds. Nice possum there. And then we're going to come over here and we're going to look at our trap there. And it appears to be set still. So we didn't catch anything in that one. And let's go over to the, uh, the other two. We'll leave these two here for now and we'll come back to get them. Alright, getting out of the tunnel right now. And uh, it was really exciting to see those two animals in our traps. And even just as excited to see what's in our other two traps. And they're kind of looking for sign as I go through. We got a little bit of ice today. So I don't see any animals walking on the ice. And I like to look for tracks. So remember we have two traps here and uh, we've got our pocket set and the water seems to be pretty open right there and uh, it's still set doesn't appear to be worked and then we have our other trap over here as well and it's still set too but i'm not seeing any tracks where any raccoons came through or any other animals so that looks pretty good to me. So maybe the raccoons didn't come through here. Uh, don't know. Hey folks, I hope you guys liked that episode. We just set those traps out the next day. We caught this nice raccoon. Isn't that exciting? And you guys can do it too. So I hope you liked that episode. Click subscribe if you're new to the channel. Otherwise hit the thumbs up. I'm Jinx and have a great day.